world. So the April Athon was just announced, which I'm really, really excited for because I love her channel um, and I just think it's cool that she's doing her own readathon. So I'm gonna leave her video of the announcement with all the challenges and all of that in the description down below. Make sure to check it out and participate. Basically, it goes from the 2nd to the 8th of April and it has, I think, six challenges which I'm gonna attempt to fulfill. So this is just my little TBR. I'm also gonna try to vlog that. I'm not quite sure how much of that I can film, but I'm gonna put up a little vlog on probably the 10th or something like that. We'll see. Anyways, as I said, check out her video and her channel and yeah, let's just get into the TBR. So the first challenge is to read a book that you've acquired recently. And for that, I'm gonna use The Refugees by Viet Thanh Nguyen. I hope I didn't butcher that too much. Basically this is just a collection of short stories about refugees. I think most of them came to America. The second challenge is to read a book with a beautiful cover and I'm also gonna use this for that and this is not cheating because as I said these are short stories and there are eight of them so I think I can read four of them in one day and four in the other and then it isn't cheating. I'm using one book but it's eight stories so that works. And yeah, the cover is just really, really beautiful. It has these gorgeous colors. The next challenge is to read a book that you've been meaning to read for a while. And for that, I'm gonna try to read The Vindication of the Rights of Women by Mary Wollstonecraft. Um, we have talked about this book in one of my seminars and I just thought that the idea of it was really interesting and kind of, yeah, happened to stumble upon it in the next bookshop after we talked about it. So. I kind of took that as a sign to buy it. Then the next challenge is to read a book with your favorite color on the cover. With this, I had a bit of a problem because my favorite color is purple. And there are basically no books with purple. I honestly went through my entire bookshelf and none of them really have purple on the cover. It's really frustrating. We need more purple in books. But I kind of cheated a bit. <coughs> um, I'm gonna use Die Sinfonie des Augenblicks by Mattia Signorini, which is a German translation of an Italian book. And it has like this ocean that kind of fades. And you can say that in this fading bit, it's kind of purple-ish. So I'm gonna use that. Then we're supposed to read a hived book, A Short History of Time by Stephen Hawking, which I guess you can say is hyped at the moment um, because of Stephen Hawking's death. I'm not that much into science, um, but through his death there have been a lot of like, yeah, talks about him and a lot of articles about him and I kind of want to know more about his thoughts and about the things he discovered and a friend of mine is very much into science and she said that this was understandable for people who don't have anything to do with science and have no idea what they're talking about. Um, again, not that long and we'll see whether I enjoy this. I just think he had a brilliant mind and I want to get to pick that a little bit. And then the last challenge of the Apolathon is to read a book you're excited for, which I think is a brilliant idea. Because as she said in her announcement video, you often have so many challenges and you're so like focused on reading as much as possible that you're not really excited anymore. You're kind of, it's kind of like ticking the boxes. So. Just reading a book that you're excited about during the readathon is just really fun. Um, not so fun, <laughs> or I mean, kind of fun, is The Purpose of Being a Warfare by Stephen Chbosky? Probably butchered that. And I bought this thinking that, yeah, the film was like really, really beautiful and I really enjoyed it, so I want to read the story. But then when I got it and when I had it in my hands and when I started to want to actually read this, I kind of thought about it and realized that maybe I wasn't ready to get my heart broken again and to be that emotionally damaged again, so I haven't read it yet. Um, I'm gonna try to do that now. I am excited. I'm also kind of scared. That's it for TBR. I hope you have a wonderful reading time and always a reason to smile. I shall see you soon. Bye!